Hey, my name is Frank, and this is what we did last night. Last night was crazy. We had a huge back to school event that a bunch of youth pastors gathered together and we planned it for the past several months to have this one huge event for pretty much the entire city to come to. And it was great. It was a blast. There was no hiccups. We were running on time. It was great. And so I'm going to tell you what we did, and so that way you guys can maybe get together with your city, with your youth pastors, and do an event like this because it was awesome. So the doors opened at 6 o'clock, and from 6 to 6, 15 kids were filing in. We had several hundred kids. I would say close to 500 kids. We had middle school, I think from fifth grade as the youngest, all the way to some college students in that group, and of course the youth pastors and leaders. And so all those people were filing in from 6 to 6, 15, and the youth men playlist was playing over the speakers as music while the kids were able to hang out and talk. We threw away some, threw out some sunglasses that were branded with our name, which was called Unite Conway, which is what we call when all of our youth groups come together Unite is because we're uniting and Conway is the name of our city and uh, I don't know where we got our sunglasses But if you google, you know custom sunglasses, you can get them for pretty cheap from 6:15 to 6:30. Nathan Brewer Who's an active member in the youth men group on Facebook? Uh, he's the youth pastor over at Antioch Baptist Church, which is the church that we met in and he uh, Kind of emceed the night and he played some games with the kids the first game He played was called PETA or Proverbs which you can find in the YM store where it's basically you have a quote and you have to guess whether it's from PETA from the Hunger Games or from the book of Proverbs. And then we played a half of the game called Movie Mashup, which is also in the DYM store, where you get the synopsis of a movie of two different plots mashed together and you have to guess what two movies they are. And the kids loved it. We only did half of it because by the time we got halfway through that second game, it was time to start. It was 6.35 and we wanted the band out there. So Nathan introduced the night, he welcomed everybody, and then the band Citizen Way came out. If you don't know who Citizen Way is, check them out. If you listen to any Christian radio, you've heard of them. They're from the Northern Illinois, Southern Wisconsin area, and they have some amazing songs that are out on the radio right now. And they're just overall a bunch of awesome dudes that I got to spend the afternoon with and they're great and so there they did a worship set in the beginning and then there was a pre there was preaching and then there was a concert that they did the end so the, here's the songs they did last night I'm gonna look at my phone because this is a set list because I was backstage when they were doing this they did Amazing Grace by by Chris Tomlin they did We Believe by Newsboys they did uh, This Is Amazing Grace by Wickham. They did Lord I Need You by Maur, or Ma I think that's how you pronounce it, Maur, Ma I don't know, whatever. Uh, the Only Name by Big Daddy Weave and Nothing But The Blood, uh, Nothing But The Blood, but they did like a really cool rock version of it. And so that was the, the set list. I don't think it was in that order, but that was the songs they did. And it was, it was amazing. It was such a good time. There's nothing like having a really polished worship band to lead worship for your kids because literally the entire room was just singing, hands in the air, and it was awesome. I was able to peek from the backstage to see what was going on, and it was really neat to see my kids uh, worship the Lord. Um, and then after that, after about a 30 minute set of that, I came on stage and I preached for about 35 minutes probably um, about the prodigal son. And so I'm going to see if I can get my message, um, my sermon notes into the store. Um, but bare minimum, I know I'm going to have a YouTube video coming soon of my sermon and I think of the whole night. So if you follow me on my social networks, you'll be able to see me post all that kind of stuff online. My thought process from the prodigal son was this, is that uh, uh, when we look at the prodigal son, we typically make the main character the prodigal son, but the main character is the love of the father. The father is the main character. And we often t treat the older brother as like some guy with a bad attitude, but when we read the scriptures, the context really is, is he isn't just a, a, a Christian with a bad attitude, he's lost in his self-righteousness. He's a Pharisee in this story, and he is so caught up in his pride that he doesn't realize that he's lost. He's not in the father's house. He's outside the father's house. And the main point of the story is that the father loves both of his sons unconditionally. And he meets them where they are. He goes to them and loves them right where they are. And so I love the story of the prodigal son. It was a great way to kind of just remind the kids, listen, it doesn't matter what you did this summer, what your past looks like, or where you're currently set in. The father loves you and wants to lavish his grace and mercy on you. Whether you are the prodigal that's in the far off country doing crazy things 
things or whether you are the older brother of uh, pouty and self-righteous pounding your chest looking at all the things you've done when it's all about the grace and mercy of Christ. So it was a good night um, kind of sharing the grace and mercy of our Father in heaven. There was a time of response where kids could go and talk to the leaders about either confessing sin or even uh, giving their life to Christ. And uh, and there was a response. There was a, a few kids that gave their life to Christ last night. So praise God for that. Heaven was celebrating. And so uh, after I got off the stage, the band came in for some kind of a, a transitional music to, to kind of you know, while the kids are responding, the kids who are just staying there, they can sing and it kind of gives them time for the kids to talk to the leaders. And then we did a concert. And so if you know anything about the band Citizen Way, I'll put some links below about their stuff. They're, they're great. Uh, and, uh, and they did a great concert. And it ended with them doing one of their hits right, that's on the radio right now called Nothing Could Ever Separate Us. And, and all the youth pastors coming on stage and I'm cranking my whip and dancing and stuff. It, it's just a fun fun time so last night was great it was awesome and so uh, uh the, the the amazing thing is if a bunch of youth pastors get together and they put a small amount of their budget into this you can get the experience of like your summer camp that big room big band large crowd event you can't you can't beat that it's awesome it was amazing and it's a great uh uh, momentum going to this fall now. That's all I got for last night. Uh, it was great. If you have any questions, hit me up. Find me on my social networks. I got a big announcement next week. It's going to be fun and exciting. So hit me up next week. Until then, man, God bless you guys. I love you guys. Keep going hard. See ya.